Welcome to the Veterinary Marketing Podcast, where it's all about helping your veterinary practice attract, engage, and retain clients. Broadcasting a new podcast every Monday from sunny Southern California, here's your host, Brandon Bashirs. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to episode number 219 of the Veterinary Marketing Podcast. Thanks so much for taking the time to listen. Hope you're having a wonderful day. In today's episode, we are going to be talking to Phil Massey from Restoration Marketing, and we are going to be talking about chat marketing. And this is a really, really cool tactic that you can use for tons and tons of um, different applications and things like that. But with that being said, um, there's just so much that we dive into in this conversation. Before we begin, I want to mention a few things. First, if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, wherever you get your podcast from. And uh, don't forget, we're running, today is the last day of the uh, Veterinary Marketing Ads Workshop. And you can still sign up for that. If you go to the Veterinary Marketing Nerds, there'll be a link for that replay. It's week 10. It's been a 10-week um total course and i think it's really really good so be sure to check it out and i'd also like to mention this episode is being sponsored by usedvetequipment.com and newvetequipment.com for over eight years now usedvetequipment.com has been helping vets buy and sell used equipment you can save money when you buy used veterinary equipment on everything from cages kennels pumps x-ray equipment lasers ultrasounds dental equipment surgery equipment lab equipment from abaxis idex and hesca tables, tubs, and sinks. If you have something to sell, head on over to usedvetequipment.com where we bring the buyer and seller together. But if you're looking for new veterinary equipment with amazing warranties, check out newvetequipment.com where they show you the price up front. You can get digital x-ray equipment, dental x-ray equipment, ultrasound equipment, LED surgery lighting, surgery tables, full-size autoclaves. When you go to newvetequipment.com, you'll clearly see the price on every item for sale. And you can also check out the warranty so that you buy without regret. At NewVetEquipment.com, they show you the price and give you a great warranty. All right. So today's episode is an interview with Phil Massey. Uh, I was connected to Phil through Julie, Dr. Julie Busby, who is the owner of ToeGrips.com. And um, I've been talking with Phil for a while now, and I'm just really impressed with him. He's got some really cool ideas and use cases for chat marketing. And this is something that is not talked about very often but there's so much opportunity with it. And I'm really, really excited. There's so many case uses potentially for this specifically. And so I just really, really think it is an underutilized opportunity that practices need to get in on. So we mentioned a training that we're going to be doing um, because obviously we can't get everything into a podcast interview. I think this is a really, really good place to start. So be sure to listen all the way through, but also head on over to veterinarymarketingpodcast.com forward slash chat. That is a link to the landing page that will be live so that you can register for the live training. If you're watching this in the future, I'll be sure to put up the replay so that you can register and watch the replay on demand. Okay, but be sure to head on over there, veterinarymarketingpodcast.com forward slash chat. That's veterinarymarketingpodcast.com forward slash chat. And without further ado, here is my interview with Phil. All right. So thank you so much, Phil, for joining me on the podcast this week. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us about chat marketing. It's really exciting. This has been around for a few years, and I haven't done a deep dive into this, but um, I'm I'm really, really excited. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got started? And um, I was introduced to you through Julie Busby, who is amazing. And um, so many people who listen to this podcast, I'm sure know Julie. She's wonderful and energetic and just such a great person. So how, how did you get here, Phil? And tell us a little bit about yourself. Absolutely. Uh, Brandon, thanks so much for having me on. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so, you know, I've been in the digital marketing space for close to 15 years now. And, and really over the last, uh, like you said, probably two to three years is, uh, you know, really one uh, when chat marketing just started getting launched. 
And um, yeah, we've we've operated in a number of different industries. This applies to gosh, virtually every business model. It's incredible. And uh, and so yeah, uh, Julie Busby uh, and I yeah we crossed paths um, sometime last year, and uh, we we developed some uh, some chat marketing campaigns uh, for some of the uh, things that they're doing. And and yeah, it it uh, it was a great hit. And you know we continue to work together and coming up with new approaches and new ideas and and uh, you know how to implement that and integrate it within her business. And so, uh, yeah, it's just, a, it's a really, really exciting, uh, very new uh, channel and, uh, you know, marketing channel. And, and, uh, and so, you know, for me, um, for the first 10 years of my, uh, my, my experience in the digital marketing space, um, I was working with a company that primarily was working with Fortune 500 size businesses, really large companies. And so, you know, very often it was, uh, they just, you didn't have the, uh, just the personal, you know, connection uh, oftentimes with, you know, some of these, uh, some of these businesses. And it was just, it was really rushed and it was oftentimes very difficult to uh, really see the true, you know, measured impact, you know, of, of the marketing, um, you know, that we were doing for, for those businesses. And so I, uh, you know, just a few years ago, uh, started my business and, you know, I really, really love working with, you know, smaller businesses and just, you can really certainly much more see, you know, the, the direct uh, impact, you know, of the marketing campaigns being deployed and, and uh, yeah, there's certainly a lot more of a personal, uh, you know, feel to it. And so, um, yeah, that's, that's, uh, you know, kind of how I got started in this. I had a lot of uh, experience in email marketing uh, prior to being introduced uh, to the chat marketing uh, side of things. And so, you know, once I, email marketing is powerful, you know, if you deploy it correctly and it's been around forever. Uh, but boy, once I once I saw some of the potential of, you know, what what chat marketing uh, and the automation, and everything and, and the engagement rates, we'll get into some of that. But man, once I was exposed to that, I said, wow, this this almost looks like it's cheating. This is incredible. This is just too good to be true. So that's uh, yeah, that was that was my start in this. That's really cool. And I am excited to talk to you about this. One of my mentors in marketing, um, his name is Ryan Dice. And he says that that conversation is the new lead. And I, I think that that is a very important distinction that like people don't want to be, they don't want to be captured and gathered kind of like in the old ways of, of marketing and it, it, engaging in conversation is so much more powerful for a bunch of reasons. So can you kind of give us mm-hmm. an overview of what conversational marketing or chat marketing would be and how that kind of works. And for those of you who don't know, quick shout out to Dr. Dr. Julie Busby. Um, her, her business is toegrips.com and an amazing product for senior pets. And uh, so definitely Phil has good uh, experience marketing to veterinary hospitals target, target audiences as well, which is pet owners, right? So pet owners and conversations mm-hmm. with pet owners. So give us a rundown right. on, on chat marketing. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, chat marketing, uh, most people are familiar with, you know, SMS uh, text, uh, which is kind of included within, you know, chat marketing uh, overall. But uh, really within the last few years, uh, Facebook uh, themselves, they really broke into this in a big way. And and by allowing uh, businesses to leverage Facebook Messenger as a business communication tool and doing so um, in an automated fashion. And so, you know, Facebook Messenger has been around uh, in enabling businesses to communicate with their customers and prospects uh, for a long time from like the Facebook page, for example, if someone comes onto your Facebook page and, you know, your business page and they click the send message button, uh, that would end up in your business's, you know, Facebook page inbox essentially. And, and uh, you know, you can communicate with them back and forth, just very similar to like a, almost like a text message or an email conversation or something. But um, so what now is available uh, is Facebook allows you to create these pre configured, predetermined conversational flows. So, and, and again, it's, it's totally automated and, uh, essentially, you know, let's say someone, you know, finds your, your business page, they click the send message button. You can now have an automated chat assistant essentially start interacting with them uh, right away. So they don't have to wait for you to get back to them, which could be the next day. And, and a lot of times as well, you know, we, we live in a, 
in an age where, you know, information is just, people want information now. <laughs> so, you know, I want, uh, you know, instant uh, information. And, and, and so, you know, they'll, they'll, you know, whether they're going onto the Facebook page to ask about hours of operation or, you know, do you perform this type of service or this type of specialty service, you know? And, and so with, you know, a lot of times if they're, you know, folks are, are um, you know, they're browsing and they're doing things, things late at night. And so, uh, the cool thing about this is that, you know, the the automated conversation can kick in immediately. It can provide them with a list of FAQs, you know, perhaps, or, you know, here, here are our specialty services or, you know, here's some specials and promotions we've got going on. So, so it's great. You know, this thing works, you know, 24, seven, 365, you know, and so, um, so that's, that's just one feature, you know, exact, you know, if someone were to come onto the, the business page, uh, you know, and interact that way. However, there are so many more entry points that people can, and, um, you know, enter into these automated conversations. You can have paid uh, Facebook ads that would send straight into a, uh, you know, a, a messenger, automated messenger conversation. You can have a, a QR code, you know, so essentially, you know, the QR codes are, you know, the square uh, scan codes that you can open up your, you know, your phone's camera and you can scan the code and those could actually be sent straight into uh, a conversation. Um, you can even have chat widgets on your website and even just from a simple URL, which you can post URLs anywhere. Um, you can send folks from a URL into a conversation. And so it's essentially limitless, you know, how you can get them into these conversations. And like you said, yeah, um, you know, it, conversation, you know, is definitely where people want to be. Uh, there was a statistic, I remember actually a survey conducted that now over 60% of, of people at every age group, by the way, uh, would prefer to communicate via some kind of uh, chat uh, communication like this rather than email, rather than phone. And so this is just, this is how people want to be able to communicate. And it's just, it's so natural for everybody with, you know, carrying around their cell phones and, and whatnot. And so, so essentially, you know, what is, what does a conversation like this look like? You know, if they were to uh, get in, let's say from a, you know, a, a Facebook ad, for example, um, you know, they would click the, the button on the Facebook ad that might say learn more or something or shop now or, uh, you know, find out more. And so they would click that, they would enter into a, a conversation that, you know, from the ad, it might say, Hey, we've, you know, we've got this great promotion going on. Um, you know, uh, click here to, to chat with us now. And we'll maybe we'll, we'll, we'll uh, deliver uh, within messenger, you know, you can instantly download your coupon or your voucher or something like that. I mean, that's, that's one example. Once they get into messenger, you can then have this, like I mentioned, you know, it, it, fully predetermined and pre-scripted conversation. So you can ask them a question. You might ask them, hey, what's your what's your pet's name? You know, and they can answer, um, you know, my pet's name is Fido, you know, and, and you can store that information. You can then echo that back to them later. And, um, you know, and so it's it's very personal. Like you said, it's, it's, it's much more so than an email, you know, which is very um, not real time, not highly engaging, um, you know, and so, and within these chat conversations, you can embed images, videos, uh, even audio messages, uh, calendar integrations. It's, it's incredible. And so, um, and the really cool thing is about this is when you are, when you have someone in a, uh, or, or uh, engage, interact with the uh, messenger conversation, you're actually building a list. They become a subscriber to your business's uh, messenger uh, account, basically. And so you just kind of like you're building an email list, if you're sending out an email newsletter, you know, that's it becomes an asset. So you're, you're, you know, it's a captive audience that you can then remarket to in the future. And so um, really, yeah, there are there are countless uses of this. We'll get into some more of it, you know, as, as we go on here. But uh, so hopefully that gives everyone a, an idea about, you know, what we're talking about, you know, when we uh, when we talk about an automated, you know, chat marketing conversation. Yeah, and I'm, I totally think that the uses are, are endless. I mean, like, if you wanted to put a QR code and put that on, like, your prescriptions or something and have prescription uh, mm -hmm. reminders or, like, you know, like, you could get crazy detailed with building out automations and flows for people depending on their specific use case. And it just is is really cool. And I think that the, the conversation that you can build out and just as like, you know, people are not, I know that text message marketing is growing more popular too, but just mm -hmm. to be clear, it's, it's not, most people don't know how to build out text message marketing campaigns either. And so the kind of best example of something that you probably have experienced in something similar to conversational marketing like this would be like email, like MailChimp, for example, it can do all the same things that email marketing can do, but there's a lot more benefits. Um, and 
there's a lot more uses as well. So just like a, if you're trying to think about how does this work, it's very similar to email marketing, but there's just so much more uses and, and ab- ability to customize what you're doing here. Mm-hmm. And that being said, there's a lot of things that are you have to be very careful with when, when it comes to compliance and rules and stuff like that. And I'm sure we'll talk about that a little bit more. Um, it's good. There's just too much to, to cover with that though, for sure. We're actually going to be doing a live training uh, and I'm, I'm sure we'll go more in depth on like some of the things that you should be, you know, looking out for considering when you're, when you're doing this stuff, but mm-hmm. um, it's, it's definitely an underused medium. And can we talk about some of like the, the numbers that, that go with this? Um, and also I've sent out tons and tons of, um, broadcasts and and things inside of messenger and the open rates are like 98% or, you know, between 91 and 98% consistently, which is nuts. So can you kind of tell me the numbers on, on stuff? Yeah, absolutely. And, And you're absolutely right. I mean, it's, it's nowhere close to, you know, email, email, typically I think industry averages published by, uh, MailChimp, you know, I believe, you know, if you're getting 20% open rates, that's really good, you know? And so, like you said, I mean, with open rates north of 90%, you know, essentially email has been around for a long time. I actually think that it just celebrated its 40th anniversary as a technology. It's older than a fact, machine, actually. If you, <laughs> is it really? I didn't ever know that. I think it started in 78 is when it oh was. My, yeah, yeah. That's it. So, you know, and everybody's being asked to, you know, subscribe, you know, to our newsletter and everything. And, and, and so they've got, they've already got a hundred emails in their inbox. And so that's just, it's natural that it's just, you know, emails may get lost and they may not get opened at, at you know, at, at uh, as high a rate. So when someone see, when someone sees a, you know, an alert or a little notification that they've got a Facebook messenger message, uh, they're going to open it, you know, just like SMS text messages, so, you know, very similar to that. They have very high, you know, engagement re- open rates as well. And so, but the really, you know, impressive thing about, uh, you know, with emails too, just going back to the comparison, you know, once someone opens your email, you're on average only going to get about 3% of people that are going to click and take action on, you know, a promotion or, you know, whatever that was that you're promoting within that email uh, compared to 30%. So basically a 10 X jump with messenger. So it's, it's incredible. And so, you know, uh, Facebook Messenger as well. I mean, by the numbers, there's there's 1.3 billion with a B uh, active users on Messenger each month. That's not just people that have accounts. That's actually uh, active users that are messaging back and forth. And that's that's worldwide, but it is the number one messaging app uh, within the United States by far. Um, and Facebook Messenger, like in the App Store, is the number two downloaded app of all time, only behind Facebook itself. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think there's over 8 billion uh, messages sent per day. Um, and the really exciting thing is, too, that we haven't even talked about this, but uh, Instagram, uh, which is also owned by Facebook, uh, it's in the Facebook family, uh, and uh, they are working on an integration as well for uh, for Instagram direct messages. So basically, the, you know, this this whole automated messaging capability will soon be coming to Instagram. So these numbers will will even be, you know, even more amplified, you know, soon enough. And so Facebook mentioned, I think it was, a, you know, at their last uh, their last annual conference, it was Mark Zuckerberg himself that said, this is the future of Facebook. So this is where they're heading. They really want to emphasize, you know, they realize it's that it's, it's more of a personal touch, you know, and so that is, you know, that's, that's kind of the future. That's how they're building out, you know, foundationally, um, you know, around, uh, around Facebook and its growth. And so, um, and, and really uh, just the cool thing is, is that, uh, Again, you mentioned, and, and you know, it's, it's this has only been around for a few, couple of years, two to three years. You know, businesses are just starting to adopt this, and so it's such a new technology. That I think there's only one percent, uh, what I read last, one percent of businesses that have uh, adopted and deployed a chat marketing campaigns, you know, within their businesses, uh, which is so. There's just huge opportunity in this right now. It's really exciting. It is, and if if you think about it, and everybody listening, like think about really quick, how many marketing emails did you get today? Like, I probably can't it's probably like dozens yeah. and if you think about how many marketing messages did you get in messenger today and mm-hmm. it's probably probably zero and you probably haven't gotten one yet which you know phil had mentioned that there's all of the attention eight billion messages sent per day but none of those are marketing messages and so we have attention but we don't we have a gap in people that are rushing out to saturate this market right and every single marketing medium out there it, it is new it emerges it's effective and then it gets saturated and then it's less effective. And so 
huge opportunity right now. I think that's that's a really big distinction. And then another thing too that's really cool is when I logged into Facebook today, it actually told me that Instagram Messenger will be now appearing in my Facebook. I got that notification today when I logged in. This <laughs> I did too. You're right. Yeah. So I was like excited. I was excited because I knew that that was coming. Um, so can you kind of run down a couple of you know kind of uses and use cases that you think are super effective for for veterinary hospitals and we'll talk about then again the the training that we're going to do and how people can reach out to you yeah absolutely so yeah we we really uh you know thought about this and thought hey you know uh, what are the biggest leverage points you know for uh for folks in the veterinary space and so just uh we've got seven things we came up with i think that are that are you know lowest hanging fruit highest leverage number one being uh new customer acquisition and so uh, the really cool thing about the Facebook ads platform, uh, they, they're just, they're, they're very large data aggregators, like it or not. <laughs> they, they know a lot about you and, you know, what your likes and interests are based on what you're engaging with, uh, you know, within their platform. And so, uh, when you promote via Facebook ads, you can put an, an ad out there with incredibly powerful targeting, uh, capability. So you can, you can narrow down saying, hey, I want to get in front of, um, you know, uh, dog lovers, you know, that are, you know, 30 years uh, of age and, and, and up who recently moved into, you know, the area, you know, that you're serving. And so incredibly, incredibly detailed uh, targeting. And so, you know, with that, I mean, you can put things in front of them like uh, surveys or quizzes, uh, offer some kind of a reward or incentive, you know, uh, for example, you know, uh, how healthy is your dog type of quiz. People on Facebook are they like getting entertained. <laughs> they, they love those, those quizzes and, you know, uh, that what am I going to look like when I'm, you know, uh, you know, four years from now or something, you know, so they just, they interact with this kind of stuff. This is just natural and native to the Facebook platform. And so surveys, quizzes, uh, one thing that we've done a lot of and had a tremendous amount of success with is, uh, social media contests or giveaways in particular. So for, let's say, for example, you, you know, came out with a, uh, you know, a new line of organic pet treats recently, and you really want to get this out out there and, you know, make, make people aware of it in your community, uh, you can run a giveaway contest. And so that is a, you know, it's a great way to bring, you know, awareness, uh, but also, you know, what you're doing, you are, again, you're, you're bringing them into a messenger conversation, let's say from a Facebook ad, you know, they see, Hey, you know, this is a giveaway that we're running, you know, my pet would love this. And, and so, um, you know, the user, the prospect uh, is, is entering into this conversational flow you're then welcome, welcoming them in and saying, Hey, you know, uh, great. You know, we're happy to, uh, uh, to have you join this contest. You know, what email address would you like to use to, to join? And, and our statistics are showing that over 97% of people will happily, you know, share their email to, uh, to join the giveaway. And so, so what you're doing right there is you're, you're creating an omni channel, you know, marketing capability for the future where you are, not only building a subscriber base within Messenger, but you're also collecting emails. You can even collect SMS. You can collect uh, phone numbers as well, you know, if you have the right application or the right reason to do so. And so, um, incredibly powerful. And so, you're, you're collecting all these data points, um, you know, and, and again, uh, we'll talk about it a little bit more, uh, you know, in, in a few points down here. But uh, just all of this is able to be leveraged then for remarketing and getting back in front of that audience. And a lot of these folks may be, you know, cold market, you know, we'll, we'll say, you know, essentially people that have not heard about your, your business yet. And so, it's, it might take some time to nurture and develop that relationship, you know, by sending them quality content and whatnot. Uh, but so anyway, these are, these are some of the new customer acquisition techniques, uh, number one. And so number two, um, also this could be attached to the, uh, to a, some kind of a, a new customer acquisition campaign if you're running a giveaway or something, but uh, could also be standalone is a customer referral uh, program. So essentially, and this goes back to the QR code example, you could have, you know, a little, um, you know, some kind of a, a printable um, on your, uh, you know, your reception desk or something that essentially is offering maybe some kind of an incentive to ask them to refer friends. And it's a, it's a cool new way for them to engage and to be able to do that. Uh, you know, there, it could be a, a gift card, you know, that you're offering or free product or something, you know, in exchange for them, uh, you know, and so uh, in exchange for them referring uh, a friend or family member. So that is uh, something that, again, you could, they could just scan a QR code. It goes into a, a messenger conversation and says, hey, thanks so much for, 
you know, sharing is caring. <laughs> uh, you know, here's uh, here's the link. There's a lot of different ways you can get them, you know, to share. Uh, they can send to their friends directly, you know, messenger to messenger. They can post it to their own Facebook page. Uh, so there's there's a lot of great, you know, uh, almost free traffic that you can be, you know, generating through uh, the referral program. Uh, and so, um, and it's 100% trackable. Everything is, you, you, can, you can know uh, with absolute certainty which, uh, which new customers, you know, came from those referring them. So basically you, you, it's, it's all directly tied in, which is a really, really big aspect. And um, I don't even know if we'll, we'll cover it much today. We will in, in the, uh, you know, in the training, but uh, the trackability of, of all this is really, really cool as, as well. So that's <clears throat> this point number two. Number three, uh, reviews. And, you know, reviews are huge uh, these days. Everyone relies on reviews. Uh, you know, they're, they're going to look on Google, Facebook, Yelp, you know, and, and they're going to want to know, hey, um, you know, that, that's one of the first places. That, for me personally, that's what I look at. You know, uh, my wife and I are talking about, you know, where, where are we going to go, you know, or, or what service provider to use? We're going to look at reviews. And so, it's another great way to uh, to ask uh, customers for reviews and about their experience is doing so in a messenger conversation. And so you'll know uh, which of those that came through messenger became customers, you know, because the names are in there. You don't even have to ask them, by the way, what their first name, last name. Uh, Facebook actually gives you that information as soon as they connect to your messenger page. And so you'll know first name, last name, and a couple of other data points. Uh, and My so, birthday. That's really cool. <laughs> so it's there. It's the birthday, give you the birthday. It's just crazy. yeah, yeah, and it's you know it, it's great because once you ask for an email address, let's say within Messenger, uh, you can uh, pre-populate their email that Facebook. Uh, basically from their Facebook profile. So, you know, whatever email address they use to log into Facebook, you could say, hey, you know, uh, again, going back to the giveaway example, perhaps, you know, what email would you like to use to enter the giveaway? They will see just a little bubble. All they got to do is tap on their email that they know. They don't even have to type it in. So it's, you know, it's pre-populated or pre-filled basically. So it's less friction, you know, even even more, you know, conversion, higher conversion rates. And so, so anyway, uh, reviews, you know, it's, it's a great way to, to direct folks uh, into uh, Google or Facebook or Yelp, um, you know, just simply having them click a link and, and go over. And so, um, yeah, so it's... Uh, Point number three here out of seven, moving right along. So uh, mentioned this earlier. Uh, number point number four is uh, remarketing broadcast. So again, you know, a lot of the prospects coming through may not have heard about you before, and so you know, there's going to be tremendous value in getting future messaging sent out to them. And it's going to again, it's going to be landing directly in their messenger inbox. And like Brandon was mentioning earlier, I mean, they're gonna they're gonna see that little, you know, that little number one, you know, hey, there's an alert here that says you've got something in your inbox. You know, uh, people are, are typically just a, accustomed to interacting with friends and family, you know, through Messenger, uh, you know, and so it's it's going to get open. They think, you know, this is something important and, and they open it. And so, again, that's why the open rates are as high as they are. And uh, and so you can send out valuable content, you know, uh, things that maybe you would send out from a blog. Um, you know, you're, you're essentially strengthening your brand trust and, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're building loyalty and you're, you're just getting these, these prospects to, um, you know, to, to learn more about you and just, you know, develop those warm fuzzies essentially. And just eventually, you know, uh, over time when they're in decision-making mode and that might not be, you know, for six months down the line, they're going to remember you, you, you're, you're continuing to get in front of them and Hey, you know, I'm, I'm going to, uh, you know, this is the, this is the clinic that I, that I want to walk into. I've been getting some great content here and, and I really like how, you know, they're, they're clearly very technologically, you know, uh, uh, you know, modern and, and engaging with me in a really cool and fun way. And so, um, you can, you know, with these broadcasts, uh, you can send out, you know, discounts or specials. Um, and again, I mean, you, they're going to get seen, you know, it's not an email that may only get opened, you know, by five or 10% of the people. Um, and so you can use it as an upsell, uh, you know, to, to promote specialty services, for example. So there's a lot of different possibilities for, uh, remarketing broadcasts. How am I, uh, my, how am I doing here, Brandon? <laughs> you're, you're doing great. And I think with that remarketing broadcast, there's like yeah. so many opportunities, especially I not like, as you're mentioning that I was thinking, we just got a puppy six months ago and we had so many questions and like, I didn't want to bug my friends who were veterinarians. Cause they like, you know, work all the time. So I don't want to be messaging them stuff. But mm. if, if a practice had like a remarketing sequence, that's like your puppies and, you have kids and I have kids. And like, as you're going along through the pregnancy process, there's the 
it's always those apps that show you like the progress and like what to expect. And like, you know, you could build out those remarketing sequences for like new pet owners and that would be so effective. It would keep people in touch and they'd be looking forward to like, what kind of developmental things is my dog going to do this week? Like, how can I train them to not pee or bite or like pull on the leash or like those kind of things that would just build such a bond with the client that you would have them for life, so especially with a puppy or a kitten campaign. It would be just an incredible opportunity to continue to remarket to these people to get them in and make sure that they're on schedule. And just like, there's so many ideas that you could use that would be incredibly effective that nobody is doing. Like I've, I've not ever seen anybody do something like that. But if you can imagine what the bond would be like the client, if they were receiving that info from you, they would not go anywhere else for sure. So I, I, I love it. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. Yeah. There, there's just so many uses uh, of this. And so, well, awesome. Yeah. So if I, if I dive too deep into the weeds here, you got to pull me back. I can really nerd out on this you, stuff sometimes. <laughs> so. You bet. Well, let's, <laughs> let's talk about, I know you're going to yep. talk about customer service automation and um, I think this is huge, especially for people that are looking for answers after hours, like for emergency stuff, when your practice doesn't offer it. Like, mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. T- tell me about some of the customer service stuff you can do. Yeah, absolutely. And so, I mean, that's, I kind of mentioned it earlier. I mean, these are, uh, these are always on these automated, you know, chat uh, assistants, you know, uh, and so, you know, these are, (laughs) they won't ever go to sleep, they won't ever get sick or go on vacation or, you know, and so they are, uh, you know, really there for, you know, the, it's, it's just let's say again, going back to the Facebook page example, I mean, there's a lot of people I've seen, you know, case studies that, you know, uh, folks are going to jump from page to page to page until, you know, they get some kind of a, you know, the information that they're looking for. And so, um, you know, when you're immediately able to engage them like that, uh, that's huge, you know, for them. And so, you know, they're, they're, they're going to stop there. They're going to, you know, get the information and, you know, you, you might tell them that, Hey, you know, we'll, we'll follow up with you right away the next morning. And, um, you know, again, I mean, they, they could even, you know, if they've got, an, an urgent, you know, issue or something, you know, something happening, you know, with, with their pet late at night. I mean, you can build in pretty, you know, uh, elaborate if you really wanted to, um, you know, some kind of an ailment survey or, you know, Hey, you know, uh, you know, what are, what are some of the symptoms, you know, that your pet is experiencing that kind of thing. And so, um, you know, instant, instant response, instant, uh, you know, feedback is, is again, what, what people are expecting or, you know, they certainly would want, you know, not again, not a lot of people are doing this, but um, and so, that's a you know a great benefit again you know if you were to look back two years on your Facebook business page you know all of the inquiries that come in it's oftentimes it's you know it's a lot of the same questions and so you know that can certainly be automated as well you can build all these maybe you've got you know top ten or twenty burning questions that, that people just seem to regularly come in and ask you know and and rather than you know have to wait you know until you know they they can get a, a response the next day or, or something. Um, you know, you can have just a whole, you know, pre-prepared, you know, list of FAQs that they can just sort through and, you know, uh, receive automated responses and get the help that they need right away. And so, you know, for those that, that have their own websites, you can, um, you can develop a, you know, the, the chat widget, you know, those are very popular. You, you see them on a lot of websites in the bottom corner where, you know, it's, you know, hey, you know, uh, how can we help you, you know, today kind of thing. But you can get really creative with those because again, you know, we, we, we're, we're not reliant on a live chat representative to have to be there. You know, you can have these really highly engaging and fun, interactive, you know, conversations and, and really, uh, you know, it's it's just a create a very different experience, you know, I think than, uh, than most uh, of the, uh, you know, run of the mill, you know, chat widgets on websites can provide. And so, um, and they're, they're highly desirable. I, I read a statistic by Zendesk that, that found that 92% of consumers really like using live chat uh, when they're available on websites. So uh, yeah, again, just a, a lot of customer service, uh, you know, and again, this is, it's saving time. It's, it's immediate deliverability. Um, there, there's, yeah, uh, many, many, many different uses just on a customer service side of things, but it's cer- certainly, you know, it's, it's automation, it's, um, you know, it, it's information at your fingertips type of thing, uh, available right now. So definitely. Uh, yeah. And I think there's just one more thing that we'll probably want to talk about with this, which is hiring, which is such a big, I keep having hiring conversations every single week. And I've had, you know, two or three podcasts in, in the past few weeks about hiring. And you could use these to differentiate yourself when you're doing job applications as far as like getting people information in real time and starting a conversation with somebody rather than just trying to collect the lead to be like, you know, apply to us. Instead of saying apply to us, you're starting a conversation 
with the potential hire. And I think that's a really different position from a, a marketing position, a hiring position. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, absolutely. And this is, you know, just, uh, this is something actually last year that, that we developed uh, kind of uh, mm-hmm. as a, uh, you know, as a need arising from the pandemic, you know, and, and this is with a, an automated, you know, uh, hiring assistant almost is what this is becoming, you know, you can, um, you can essentially conduct a, a, a pre interview conversation where you're, you're, um, you know, you're, you're, you've got certain criteria that you've, uh, predetermined, you know, let, let's say I, I only want to, you know, I'm only interested in bringing, you know, this certain position on who has experience of five years, you know, at a minimum. And so you can, you can have all of this predefined criteria that can be built into this hiring, uh, you know, chat experience. And so the applicants, you know, if you've got a job post out there, again, you could just, you could just have a URL that sends straight into this messenger conversation and have it be a requirement, essentially, hey, this is, the, this is your first step here is, is going through this, um, you know, this is kind of uh, questionnaire. And, and uh, you know, again, you can, it's great for pre-filtration because I mean, there's, there's the, the, when we developed this the first time for the, the, uh, the company that we did, there was, they were just uh, <laughs> wading through just so many uh, applications and resumes. It was just, it, it, they were just sinking them and so much time commitment. And, you know, they, it was just like, I don't, I don't want to miss any of these. I want to make sure I'm giving, you know, all of them, you know, attention that they need just in case there's, you know, one of these is really who we need. And so, um, you know, I think it's, you, you can, you can really, let's say you have a hundred people, you know, go through one of these and, you know, you might end up with 10 at the very end, you know, everyone else can be auto disqualified, you know, based on the criteria that you specify, you know, and uh, it can be, you know, giving them a, um, you know, kind of a soft, you know, turn down or, or, you know, Hey, uh, thanks so much, you know, for your interest. However, we're really, you know, only looking for, you know, people in this position that, you know, have, have um, you know, had, you know, five years experience or whatever. I mean, there's, there's a whole, uh, you know, series of, of questions and it's, it's just kind of a little, it's like a little mini algorithm. You're just crunching all these, all the information based on the responses that they give. And, um, you know, you end up essentially with only the people that have uh, pre-qualified through this, uh, through this hiring funnel. And so it, it just saves a tremendous amount of time. Uh, and, and I know it, you know, for the, the company that we deployed this for, I mean, they had hundreds of people go through this and um, they had just a handful of folks, you know, that, that, uh, that they knew were the ones that they uh, actually you know, should be spending time uh, bringing in for a, you know, a, a full interview. And so, uh, yeah, so that's, it's huge. That is really, really cool. Um, so I know that we covered a lot in this podcast and if you are interested, we're going to probably be doing a, a training probably. And if you go to, I'm going to create a link for it. So if you go to veterinary marketing podcast.com forward slash chat, it will forward to the landing page for the live webinar or the recording. If you're listening to this in the future, so veterinarymarketingpodcast.com forward slash chat. And then um, if you would like to just get a chatbot demo right now from Phil, the best place to go is restorationmarketing.io. And so if you don't want to wait for the training, you want to say, you say, this sounds really cool. I want to see how it would work for my business and the different things that I want to do. That's that's the place to go, restorationmarketing.io, um, which is great. Um, so check that out. I believe you have a chatbot on your site, which is fantastic. Maybe they yes. can chat with the bot. And- <laughs> right. See how it yeah, goes. Absolutely. Definitely. Well, I really appreciate your time today, Phil. I think it was really, really helpful. Um, obviously, there's so much more that we could talk about, like the, the logic trees and the flows and the calls to action and all that stuff. So be sure to register for this class. Um, and then if you just want to see how it would look for your business again, head on over to restorationmarketing.io. But thank you, Phil. Is there anything else that you think we should talk about or um, anything important before we go? No, again, thanks for having me. I think, you know, uh, again, this is just, uh, this is great timing, you know, for, for everyone to jump in on this again, this is just, this is a perfect opportunity. You know, it's, it's kind of the, uh, you know, at the forefront of every major uh, shift or, or, you know, new, new marketing channel, um, you know, the, all the early adopters were always the ones that won, you know, that, that was true of email marketing, search engine optimization, and, you know, getting your web page ranked on Google, you know, pay-per-click advertising, Facebook ads, all that. And so this is kind of that, that new wave. And so it's really, yeah, very, very exciting getting in, you know, at the, at the front of that wave and, and riding it. And so, um, yeah, again, hey, uh, thanks so much, you know, Brandon, really appreciate you having me on here uh, to chat about this stuff and definitely looking forward to the training. 
All right. Thanks so much, Phil. Talk soon. All right. So I hope that you enjoyed today's episode. I think it was full of some really, really good ideas and insights. And it makes me really excited for the training that we have coming up. So again, that's going to be veterinarymarketingpodcast.com forward slash chat. Go get registered and you'll be able to actually see what we're talking about, not just listen to it, but actually see what we're talking about here. So head on over there, veterinarymarketingpodcast.com forward slash chat. And again, if you wanted to book a demo with Phil right away, head on over to restorationmarketing.io. That's restorationmarketing.io. Thanks again, Phil, for being on the podcast and we'll see you next week. Have a good one, everybody.